Who else felt like they were listening to Minister Horner give last year's budget speech just without the page about the universities? I feel like he might have gotten the wrong one. Uh, in particular, I was particularly excited to hear today about the announcement of the Premier's Council on a new Municipal Provincial Partnership, which I think is extremely similar to the announcement last year of the Premier's Council on a new Provincial Municipal Partnership, which has actually never met. Um, or if it has met, the people in Calgary haven't actually been invited to it. So there was nothing really new or particularly interesting uh, in this budget, but I will tell you about a couple of highlights and lowlights uh, as we go along. First of all, infrastructure grants. There was an announcement to increase the MSI funding, which is the most important infrastructure grants uh, that we get here by $150 million over three years. We anticipate to Calgary that will mean in 2014 about $7 million additional dollars. Sounds great. However, two years ago when MSI was stretched out, uh, Calgary lost in 2014 $100 million. So they've returned $7 million of the $100 million that they cut. Uh, so we still continue to pay way too much money in interest um, because of course in Calgary we actually had to spend the money in advance on major projects uh, and we have to pay that debt down and every time they extend or contract it, it wreaks havoc with our interest payments and it really, uh, play, it really makes it very difficult for the city to plan long-term capital which is why we need, you've heard me say it before, long-term, predictable, stable funding for infrastructure. The big cities have infrastructure needs that the smaller organizations don't have. To build a new wastewater treatment plant or to renovate one, to build a line of the LRT. These are things we have to finance over time and we cannot finance them over time if we have constantly fluctuating amounts of money in future years. It just makes it impossible to work. So we have to figure out how to do that better. Um, green trip. The rumor was that there would be a major commitment to transit uh, in this budget. Uh, of course, that wasn't there at all. It seems that the green trip money is almost exactly what we thought it would be this year. It's a little bit more, but I think that's the money they didn't spend last year uh, being pulled forward into this year. And there's a commitment to phase two of the green trip by 2021, which is, of course, far too late. Um, we would have loved to have seen an acceleration of that program. It's great that they're accepting applications for phase two sometime soon but we actually need the money, not just the applications in order to start building out on these things.